California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger received a behind-the-scenes tour of NASA's Ames Research Center to learn more about the agency's help in fighting wildfires that are ravaging the state. Firefighters are still battling 300 of the nearly 1,800 separate fires started by lightning three weeks ago, exhausting fire crews and stretching resources to the breaking point. It's great to be here today at NASA, the NASA Ames Research Center, to see one of the most exciting new weapons in our firefighting arsenal. In response to the state's request for help, NASA has flown ICANA, a remotely controlled airplane based at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center at Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California. The aircraft flew over more than 4,000 square miles from Santa Barbara north to the Oregon border and is currently scheduled to fly over even more fires. The sensor package developed at Ames uses infrared cameras that are capable of seeing through smoke and haze to identify a fire's hot spots. These images also show new flare-ups, as well as the direction and speed at which the fire is moving. The data is then transmitted back to NASA Ames using a high-speed satellite communication system. Here, the ICANA data is overlaid onto Google Earth and Microsoft Virtual Earth Maps, giving a realistic 3D view of the wildfire. The information is then sent via the Internet to fire commanders in as little as 10 minutes, helping them decide where to best deploy their resources. The real leap that we've made here is, is getting the right data in, in near real time I and mean, get it, getting it to the people where, you know, telling them where the fire fronts are, where they're moving, and, and you need that information within minutes so that they can make decisions about where to put people on the ground. I wish I'd had this tool 20 years ago. Uh, you can only imagine the feeling of seeing a fire take off up a hill and lifting embers and, and the wind blowing, and you don't know from where you're standing whether it's gone over the next road, over the next hill, over the next creek. So to know if there's a community out there that's being threatened and that you need to stop what you're doing and change gears and employ different tactics is of tremendous value to the firefighters. Over the last few years, we worked with the state and with the Forest Service and uh, others to be able to modify this aircraft so that it could help see through the smoke and help the firefighters vector in to be much more effective. It's really great for NASA and our people to be able to, to help the people of California and save lives. I'm proud. During his visit, the governor had the opportunity to sit in an ICANA flight simulator. Here, screens can be selected to show real-time video, aerial infrared images, or other data from the aircraft. The governor also was shown NASA's new Hyperwall 2, a 23-foot-long high-resolution display system. Besides displaying the location of the fires, the Hyperwall can show images containing up to 250 million pixels, and often is used by researchers to view simulations generated by Ames supercomputers. Governor Schwarzenegger said the number of fires makes it all the more important to use every tool at the state's disposal to protect property and save lives. So this unmanned plane is a true lifesaver. And I again want to thank NASA for putting uh, this uh, vehicle into action. We want to thank them for their great, great work.